What's up, guys? <clears throat> Captain Rick Ajecki here. And uh, just loading the boat up with gear. Getting ready to get out this weekend and run our first trip on the big boat. And uh, I saw a box of these get loaded on board, and I thought, you know what? I think I need to make a video about these baits. I think people need to realize the potential that this bait has. So here we are. So, uh, where I fish on Lake Ontario in the spring, we've got uh, we've got lots of things, bays, rivers, creeks, um, ponds that dump water into the basin. Uh, one, which is a major river, uh, especially after big rains, uh, can put a lot of a lot of muddy water into the basin and if we get the correct wind it'll put that muddy water right against the shoreline and make brown trout fishing very difficult so um, there has been days in the past that this bait has really saved my butt um, like I said it's not known so much for brown trout fishing but we're gonna change that breads thin fish okay this is probably my go-to when the water gets really, really dirty uh, when I'm brown trout fishing and I need to create some sort of noise in the water. When I say noise, I mean a few different ways. Uh, as you can hear, there's a lot of rattles inside that create um, a lot of noise. You also have a very big profile that I feel like it moves a lot of water when it's coming through the water. So it, it makes it very easy for the fish to hone in on this bait and, and, and bite it. So, for those two reasons, I feel like this bait is a great bait in that dirty water for brown trout. And just uh, a few weeks ago when I was out in the smaller boat, I believe it was back in February, this bait, um, because of the water I was fishing, uh, pulled a few fish for us. Um, so, it was, a, it was a good bait to have in the water. That being said, uh, this is uh, like that citric shad. So this is basically what we base that bay rat off of that has become really popular in the brown trout world on Lake Ontario. It's got that yellow belly, um, a pearl side, and then it's got that blue back. Uh, very good bait for brown trout. Um, a few other colors that have done really well for us in that, um, in that muddy water is this white Wonder Bread. Uh, the Wonder Bread colors are really, really subtle on it. It's more of that white uh, body style that I think uh, helps the fish find it in that dirty water. And then your standby popular Wire Tiger color uh, that you can find in many baits. But um, those three colors have been really good colors for us when we are targeting brown trout in the spring. Uh, one quick thing to mention, they will dive down to 10 foot, so um, don't try sneaking in shallow with those baits, which you shouldn't have to with the when the water is that dirty. Uh, you shouldn't have to get on the beach, so you can kind of move the boat out to that 12, 14 foot range and run these baits just like you would run any other stick bait. So what these baits are known for is for their ability to catch cohos, especially on the west end of Lake Ontario. They are a staple for any charter captain that's that's heading out there uh, looking to fill the cooler for their customers, especially the the coho, which people seem to really enjoy eating. Um, the color that's probably the most popular for cohos is going to be this red squiggles. Uh, so I'll hold it up to the camera. You can see it's a, a reddish orange color. It's got black squiggles. This is a this is one that's been in service for quite a while, and you can see it's been heavily chewed. Uh, it's got a little sun faded color to it, but <clears throat> this is the number one color that guys are running out in the west end of Lake Ontario. Very good color uh, for those those cohos. Fish USA has a few other colors too. Uh, this is basically a red with uh, with yellow squiggles. Uh, we've done we've done quite well on that as well. Just to throw up a little different color in the mix when most guys I know are running that that orange or black squiggles. Um, this one has been a really good color for us. High sun, when you're out there trolling and you can watch the uh, the coho swirl on the surface, and I think what they're doing is chasing uh, the uh, the emerald shiners that are that are popular in the western basin of Lake Ontario. It's kind of got that rainbow troutish color, but it's got that emerald back, um, silvery shiny side there. And um, when you get those really sunny days in flat surface on the water, that bait seems to do very well. Um, so. So yeah, so if you are out brown trout fishing and you encounter those situations, don't be afraid to pull out those coho baits that you're used to pulling. 
you know, in another month or so. Uh, put a few of those in the water and I'm sure they'll help you uh, put a few extra fish in the